Okie doke, so first thing we're going to look at is the Firefly Blood game. Um, this, I believe, has some special models in it, because um, it came from Gen Con or something like that. The different casting to the way they were cast for the rest of the game. Uh, first thing that's on top there's a little book and one of those little leaflets you get. Um, on you go. Uh, counters. Is this by Fantasy Flight? No, it isn't. This is is it? Like Gale Force 9. Gale Force 9. So, I wonder if there's as many components as you get in the odd Fantasy Flight games. That's the board. Counters. I'll open that up in a wee second. And, oh, that's the Alliance Closer then. So, what sort of size is that reference? It's a couple of inches tall. A couple of inches long. Looks like the big thing out the the TV series. That's cool. It's actually a really cool ship. But weird, but cool. Um, character cards or ship cards, as the case may be. That's the money. It's kinda Monopoly esque money. Oh yeah, in here. Have a look at this. Uh, these look like the uh, mission cards. Mission cards. They're quite big. They're about three times the size of a normal playing card, maybe. Yeah. Let's have a wee look at one of them. Not too bad quality. It's obviously just the same sort of thickness as a normal card, but it's nice and smooth. It's not like the the Star Trek cards are made of that. Um, Sort of vinyl type stuff with the ridges all over it. This is nice and smooth. Uh, 2D6. Mm -hmm. And I've got um, Serenity and Firefly class ships as the number 6. Ah. Yep, that's not good. The board's come with a wee bit of a, a dink in it. A wee bit of glue to put that back down, but it's six squares the size of the box so like about 10 inches by 10 inches each square so it's 20 by 30 roughly and you've got the the map of the verse that's the, the firefly solar system okay let's have a look at the other stuff okay dokey so this is the the ships you get in it um, we've got down here uh, a lever ship, good old pound coin, so you can see the size of it. Um, ooh, not used to working like this. There you go, so that's a bit awkward to see the detail in that because it's solid colour block. There we go. It's actually not too bad. They're made of that sort of, um, that's a hard plastic, that one. Oh no, it's not. It's quite lovely. The main body feels quite solid. Um, these ones, the Serenity ships, the Firefly class, they all come colour-coded with the, the cards. So if you're going to paint them up, you'll need to colour-code the bases. Um, we've got a, an additional ship that came with a, a bonus magazine. It came with card and another one of the models. I um, haven't got it to hand at the moment. If I find it, I'll have a wee, wee look at that as well. So you can see the size difference between the, the Firefly class and the Imperial class. This one is definitely the best for detail um, and will take paint quite well. These ones, I'm not so sure about how well they'll take paint because of the type of material they are. Feels quite similar to the Bones miniatures. And um, that sort of fairly bendy plastic.
Okie doke. Um, there's a veritable fuck ton of cards. Um, we've got decks here for Asylus Shipworks, Persephone, Regina, uh, Silverhold, and Space Bazaar. Now, from the looks of these, there's all sorts of stuff when you're visiting that sector, um, what you're going to be able to buy. Um, while you're there. So obviously different areas will have different stuff that you can purchase. Whoops, and I'm just dropping Simon's cards all over the floor. Um, okay. Um, once we've had a, a proper play test at this, we shall give you the view of how it plays and what these all actually do. You've got Alliance Space Deck. Um, which is, I think, encounters of what you what happens to you. So the way it looks at the moment, anyway, when you're in alliance space and a border space event deck. Let's on that one. Okay, and then there's also this deck here, which is huge, which has got all the different. I think this will get split up as well into. You've got Patience on the top. Then you've got a Nishka deck. I think these are all the missions you can pick up, or jobs you can pick up, as opposed to missions. Uh, yeah, Harkin, all the different folk. Badger. He was a cool character. Um, oh, look, Governor. My bad Mockney accent. Um, so you've got all those different decks of stuff. As I said, there's a huge wad of cash. It's like Monopoly money feel to it. It looks like paper in there. Uh, aim to misbehave deck. I haven't even looked at this yet. Uh, again, that looks like some sort of mission card. It's got... Ah, the suit symbols on that. So that looks like an actual deck of cards with stuff on it. I'm wondering if that's going to be along the Malifaux line of Fate Deck, maybe. Again, we'll look into all this stuff in detail. This is just the unboxing, so we're not 100% sure of what everything does at the moment. We're just showing you this so you can see how cool it looks. This is all the card counter stock you get. Um, warrant issued. Goal achieved. Um, fugitive on that side, and passenger on that side. I'm assuming all this is things to do with the cargo you're carrying the sad faces <laughs> apparently if your crew is upset they can leave um, and we've got the dinosaur cause sure of sudden but inevitable betrayal and all that jazz I've just read in the rule book that um, that's the, the player the active player marker token pass that round after your go uh, it suggests that you go out and buy an actual plastic dinosaur because it's going to be more fun to have that sitting on your ship um, I can see sales of plastic brontosaurus, or was that stegosaurus? Ooh, not sure. Anyway, uh, the little book is 16 pages. Um, it is fairly good quality, nice pictures. And once we've got that down pat and had a wee shot, we'll let you know how it all plays. Okie doke.